Hello guys, this is Daddy Cool, and the game I'm playing is called Subnautica Below Zero. This is the fourth part, uh, fourth episode of this game, and uh, I have uh, found some interesting blueprints in previous episodes, and also visited an undersea shipwreck, met a new person, a new player in the game, and. Um, at the moment I'm heading to a very deep space, very deep area and I am just preparing for this diving, so stay tuned. 266 Let's go that way Carefully There is one more ruby. And this is much, much deeper. Oops. Attacked again. Yeah, we have a sea truck after burner upgrade. Creature are not interested. Prone suit wrapping arm. A lot of partial. Uh, blueprints. Usually in only single ones and not finding the pairs for them. Now it's okay. Warning. Thirty yeah. seconds of oxygen remaining. At least that one is unlocked. This is gonna be close. The sea truck is Oxygen. still pretty far. I already see it. I just have to touch. Oh, come on! <sighs> that was a close one. Okay, let's go a little bit deeper here. Warning. Oops. Depth reached. How damage imminent. Depth. So let's check this place. There is this artifact could provide useful information. Processing. Let's I check can it. Visualize a location where we may find an important component for my body. The image is hazy, but I am sure it is correct. A stark surface landscape, dangerously cold. Curved spires stretch to the sky. Okay, so one step closer with the main storyline, I think. And the problem is that it this architect body cage is still 
more than 300 meters away. And at the moment I do not really know how to get there. Back to the truck, I guess. Because probably it's not this way. Is that. No. Okay. Let's talk. Father Shulman's cope with the loss of memories. Like forgetting someone's birthday? I don't know. It just happens. When you die, some quantity of knowledge is lost forever to the next generation. Isn't that... I'm warning you, if you call humanity inefficient one more time, I will swim us both into the mouth of a leviathan. Is that sarcasm? I am still having trouble differentiating. How inefficient? Efficiency aside, does the loss of knowledge not create complications? Well, on a personal level, losing someone can be traumatic. But it's harder to process the idea of generational knowledge. Humans aren't networked, so we can't even be aware of what we're losing moment by moment. We try to learn from history. Maybe it's not ideal, but it's what we have. What happens when you no longer have the memories of others to combine with your own? You make your own memories and interpretations. You have to experience life as an autonomous being. Discover yourself. That idea is foreign to me. I think I'm gonna go back to the position where we started this whole exploration of deep thing and maybe start it over he, here's a nest ultra capacity tank fragment that's a good one still it's just one third of the hole The burner. Horsepower upgrade. sea truck again because I am getting very confused and I don't like this feeling we have grappling arm already knew that Fluid intake. That's a good idea. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I have been able to sense the location of an important artifact. I will share its coordinates so you can look into it. Got it. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay. 
another destination added that's power cell what Nicolor when did I find this ah whatever put this in put this in that's a potential upgrade yeah search for that water do I have water not really is it possible that I do not have any water left go let's drink a little bit of water Vital signs stabilizing a little bit more now it's okay Something that of, of an interest. There is a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. Okay. We have the second part of the oxygen tank. I really should be finding the third one because that would be a huge boost to my oxygen level for exploration you came within range of data that might help with the construction of a new storage unit you must continue to investigate okay probably that's the way to go to find that alien thing current position of the sea truck let's refill oxygen and I'm gonna try to explore the surrounding sea monkey nests maybe I find the third piece Uh, grappling arm I already knew that one that's just a big fish nothing serious system is very confusing for me at least it is here's a sea monkey nest again I've been down there nothing was found there I know. Here we go. The ultra high capacity tank. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Let's get back to the sea truck. Oops. We have a 
little bit of oxygen. That helps. This one is being emptied. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yes, I know I'm going. Oxygen. Okay, so that cave was probably this way. Yes, and I am pretty close to 300 meters. That's the maximum I can go. But I'm gonna go as close as possible. Okay. I'm gonna check my inventory once more because yeah there are a couple of new things in it let's put this here this here okay I'm gonna make a plasteel to reduce space And I'm full. I'm gonna insert an upgrade which I have in hand. Yeah, this C truck perimeter defense. Okay. Refill oxygen. And let's go. It's a pretty deep space. I'm not sure what to expect. I strongly sense my people's technology nearby. A body component is near. Uh, not this way. I might have to find another way there. trying to remember the way back because it won't be easy that's the way to go here's an oxygen something new there's another one what's this uranium okay also a new thing Place battery. I take this one. That's a nickel over again. Okay, we have arrived in one piece. And 
this is what we were coming for. This skeleton has very damage. Able to handle heavy forces. I got thrown from my new form. Are you okay, Alan? It is not often that I gaze upon the form of a fallen architect. Is this place another sort of sanctuary? It's peaceful. Beautiful, even. As the bacterium spread, the continuation of life became uncertain. This is a place to reflect. I think I understand. So, I'm gonna check what's the requirements for this skeleton. It requires three diamonds. I have the sources of diamonds a little bit uh, closer to the surface, I think. I have the plastic ignot in the inventory. And I need a green liquid. And the green liquid is composed of gold and acid. I have gold, for sure. And acid requires this mm, mushroom type of plant, three of them for one dose. I think I'm gonna collect 12 pieces just to be sure. The benzene requires two pieces of the spore. Um, I think I'm gonna take eight pieces with me and we will see the rest. Okay, so we have a nice oxygen source there in my back and I'm go just gonna collect the things I mentioned previously. I need two more. Okay. Diamond collected. I can scan this one. Take this. Collect this. I'm not gonna go close to that thing. Diamond, ruby. What's this? Quartz. And what's this? Magnetite. Okay, that's pretty good. It's a pretty rare ingredient. That was a nice finding. I take the Mika for sure. Oh! Batfish. Inventory full. That's not good. Let's stop the quartz. Let's stop the copper. And let's get back to the alien cage for now. Drop the silver ore, pick the nickel. I think I'm gonna be dropping the no, eat the food. Yeah. Let's refresh oxygen. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. So I have the 12 pieces of this. It's 8 pieces of this. A lot of nickel. Some uranine. T okay. Magnetite, some diamonds. I think I'm fine. I just have to find the way back to the sea truck. Which, believe me, not an easy task. So it was somewhere this. Should be going up here.
Yeah, so far so good. All the way up. Uh, that way or this way? Not sure. Yeah, probably this way. Okay, now I'm fine. That's the way to go. Okay, so what's the blueprint for this one? Salt. I need salt. And not here. Yeah, here we go. The salt. And my inventory is full again. I cannot produce anything, so I'm gonna I'm gonna drop what? Let's drop the ruby. Pick up the salt. Reduce inventory. Stuff a bit. Take the other free salts. Okay, and uh, put it here. And this one was requiring the green plants. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Reduce space usage. Now it's fine. I am battery. I can create ion battery and ion power cell. That's good. Test override module. Oh, this is required for the station. And I require a parallel processing unit, which I don't know yet. Okay. I should be doing this piping wing as well, a wiring in silicon rubber titanium. I'm gonna create that one. Why did I not mark it? Mark this one, My mark the controller. Okay, so we are looking for silver, silver, the copper wire, this one, titanium, okay, that's enough, I have the silver, I need only one silicon rubber let's take the battery silicon rubber here we go used battery used battery i'm gonna put the good battery here so let's create 
this remote control. And one wiring kit. And the spy pingling. Without spy penglings, scientists may have never discovered that penglings incubate their eggs in small cave burrows, often alongside thermal lily roots. Okay. So we have two new things in the stock. I'm gonna fill my storage just to be able to find new things again. Okay, here we go. That's okay. Let's uh, discover the surface further. Let's head to the surface and uh, it's time to go further. I mean a little bit backwards because I have the penguins and I found a place where I might be able to use them. So let's get the destination of not this one, not this one, roughly this way. of an interest in here let's go that way we have a cave here it's within this floating rock I'm really interested if there is something inside It's a big nothing. But we have a water fish. And another one. And maybe. I think this one is fruit fish. Yeah, let's just pick it up. New creature discovered. Turn the water vision to water, the other one again, and some food. Yep. Drink, drink. Let's go. gonna check I think I already emptied that sea monkey nest probably I have discovered everything down here yeah just check it once more before I go away yeah that one is checked yeah I know where I am at the moment. I think this is more or less an explored area. Let's go further. It's not that easy. I think my 
this worked and I discharged things. Okay. That's the way to go. Pretty tough plant. <laughs> yeah, this is a familiar place already. And we have something here. Let's just check it. It's an aquarium module. Okay. And this. This move has just New unlocked that. Discovered. A row ray. Anything useful? I don't think so. I'm gonna cook it. A little bit of food, some water. Okay. Go further. Some rocks. And this is another waypoint or point of interest in here. This one seems to be another shipwreck, and I think I'm gonna explore it for sure. I think I have a repair tool because this. Yeah. This part of the truck has serious damages and I want to repair it. Just a little bit of time and it's ready. Fine. Let's get inside. Metal salvage. Let's pick it up. We have a power cell, okay, that's also nice. It's some kind of a music equipment. Oh yeah, this is what we are looking for, I think. The sealed door. And here's the parallel processing unit. Now I just need to build the test override module. Then I can disable that satellite tower. Yeah, and I, I think this is what we are gonna be doing very soon. But before that, let's open this supply crate. Okay, and I think this door is. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen yeah, it's remaining. not possible to open. And I think I take some fresh air. Okay, and I'm gonna check this rack if there is anything useful around here. Not this part. Maybe an entrance. No, it's not possible to go in. Also not there. We have something down here. Oh, it's also pretty deep. Yeah, 
this is a landmark. Oh, it's very, very deep, but there are a couple of things down there that may be of an interest. And uranium ore as well. Let's get back to the truck and regain some oxygen and come back. That seems to be a good plan for me. See, truck that way. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen crystal, remaining. Crystal. Okay, let's get inside. So, I think I found this one. Table, coral, silver, gold. Yeah, and one lead. Oh, this lead thing is very annoying so silver oh I put something inside instead okay let's pin it put here put here this one Okay, one gold. Yeah. And one table crawl. Hmm? Did I just. No. It's lithium. I have that. Okay. And the table crawl. Yep. Let's create one of this. And I just need one titanium and we are okay. Yeah. Like this. What's the size? It's a small one. Okay. That's good. I'm gonna turn the salvage into titanium or One seems okay, and uh, I just check this uh, off camera that to be able to create the uh, high capacity, I mean the ultra high capacity O2 tank, which is not here. I can check it here. So create this I need high capacity O2 tank and also a modification station so I can only create this at a modification station which I do not have yet but I can create one if I wish and for this one I need high capacity O2 tank and at the moment my high capacity O2 tank was upgraded into the booster tank and this is not good for uh, for the ultra high capacity tank so what I have to do if I ha will have a modification station I need to create a high capacity O2 tank that's the point and uh, I think it requires a lot of ingredients so it's probably worth to create the high capacity O2 tank now and put the finished one into the storage and this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pin both of them so I'm just preparing to create the ultra high capacity O2 tank a little bit later and create the ingredient for that one okay and I need 
two two glasses which requires not this but I also need a silver ore okay and quartz yeah and I think one more quartz if I find it here and if I don't then I'm gonna look for it while going into that deep space no I have it so I do not have to and one more titanium that's fine so two glasses that's wonderful and the high capacity O2 tank Unpin, unpin, unpin. Okay, so here we have it, and I have some storage space as well. Probably not more than I had, but I am a little bit further away. So, yeah, let's go and explore that area in the deep. With this artifact, I am again able to trace the imprint of my people. They survived for a time, but then their presence becomes faint. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oxygen.
Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Seek fluid intake. that button area but unfortunately my character is thirsty and I do not have any water in my reserves and also we are getting close to end of the video so I'm gonna look for some water fishes to turn them into water and we'll get back to the sea truck which is a marker at the moment for me so this is what I am doing at the moment looking for water fish we have food fish there's water fish okay salt my last battery I think I will have to look for more batteries I have only two water fishes that's not enough absolutely not enough there is one more come here okay maybe more give me at least one more and then I go back there you go one more and another one warning 30 seconds of oxygen remaining yeah and vital science I mean vital values are not really good 
let's get to the surface. Okay, and back to the sea truck. What type of sleeper module? Already had that one. <laughs> Seems there's not one. I suppose I already had that one as well. That's right. Not this way. Sea truck, sea truck. You are hiding. I think I will also have to for a bandage. Let's get the quartz. I used up almost all of them. There's a sea truck fragment again. Docking module. Also have that one. go let's create water yeah let's create food I mean two I think I have two Fine. Drink the water. Drink Vital the water. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah, it's good to hear. Nice. Let's take this one. Put the ruby inside. Yep. Now it's fine. And uh, how can I decrease the? quantity of taken spaces because I'm pretty sure I will find something down there as usual and I have to discard a couple of things let's turn it into a titanium ignot and probably I'm gonna take one lithium that's right and create it into a plastic ignot Yep, so inventory is partially full. Okay, I think this is the end of this episode and uh, see you next time.